Hey y'all, welcome to uh, fourth grade chapter seven, lesson six. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to do what we affectionately call dead man um, in order to turn the mixed number into a fraction, okay? I will show you why it's called dead man right now, okay? So we do three times four, then we add the one. And because we go in this direction, we we'll wanna make sure that we've got that arrow there to remind us that's the direction that we're going. We're going from the bottom to the top. So when you look at it this way, it kind of looks a little bit like dead man. Okay, so three times four is 12, plus one more is 13. And we keep our denominator. That's all that means, guys, okay? So, dead man. Okay, five times one is five, plus two is seven, and we keep our denominator, okay? Okay, three times three is nine, plus two is 11, and we keep our denominator, okay? I'm gonna let you guys do five through eight, okay? Now on these ones, okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I'm gonna start doing it mentally, so I'll show you, okay? So we call this hip, trap and divide okay top number goes in the box okay all right so now six is going to go into 31 well it's not going to go into three but it'll go into 31 five times five times six is 30 subtract and we get one so now i'm going to show you how i get my numbers okay so five is my whole number okay One is my numerator, okay? And my denominator stays the same, okay? Not so bad once you get used to it, okay? Okay, we're gonna do another one, okay? Okay, hip, trap, Divide. 10 ain't gonna go into two, but it'll go into 20 twice. That is 20, subtract is zero. So your answer is just gonna be two, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go over here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do one more this way and then I'm gonna show you how to do it mentally, okay? All right, so 15 over eight, Tip. Trap, divide, okay? Eight's not gonna go into one, it'll go into 15 one time. One times eight is eight, subtract, get seven. So now I've got one is my whole number, seven is my numerator, and my denominator stays the same, okay? One is my whole number. Your top number up here, that's your whole number. Your leftover, that's your numerator, and your denominator stays the same. Okay? All right. So, we're going to have uh, one and seven eighths right there. Okay? Now, now I'm going to show you how to do this mentally. Okay? Six is going to go into 13 two times. Two times six is 12. So, 13 minus 12 is one. And my denominator stays the same. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more for y'all. Okay. All right. Ten is gonna go into twenty-three two times. Two times ten is twenty. Twenty-three minus twenty is three, and my denominator stays the same. Okay. All right. One more. Five is gonna go into nineteen three times for 15, okay? Three times five is 15. 19 minus 15 is four, and my denominator stays the same. You guys try 15 and 16 and see how you do. Okay, we're gonna go down to number 17, okay? 
A recipe calls for two and two quarter cups of raisins, but Julie only has a quarter cup measuring cup. How many quarter cups does Julie need to measure out two and a quarter cups? Well, we know that four over four, actually, let's do this the way that, let's do this the way that they did it, okay? So, two and two quarters, ready? Okay. Doing dead man. Okay. So four times two is eight plus two more is 10. Our denominator would be four, which means in order to get one quarter servings up to 10 quarters, we would have to do that 10 times. 10. 10. Let's just say scoops. Okay. Okay. All right. So if Julie needs three and a quarter cups of oatmeal, how many one quarter cups of oatmeal will she use? All right, well, give me a second here. Okay. So three and one quarter, we're going to dead man that. Okay. Four times three is 12 plus one more is 13 over four. So that would be 13 scoops. Okay. It's not so bad, guys. All right. All right. We're going to go in the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay. And we are going to go down and do this problem review. Okay. So. Shanice has 23 baseball trading cards of star players. She agreed to sell them for $16 each. How much money will she make? Well, 23 times 16. And whatever your answer is, it's going to be in money. So we need to put a dollar sign. Okay. So now 6 times 3 is 18. Carry our 1. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. And we're going to go. Tick, tack, toe, and one times 23 is 23. Okay, add those up. Eight, six, three, three hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Okay, all right. Next, Nancy is volunteering at the animal shelter. She wants to spend an equal amount of time playing with each dog. She has 145 minutes to play with all seven dogs. Well, how much time would she spend with each dog? So, because I'm writing bigger, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. She has 145 minutes and seven dogs. She wants to split it up equally. Okay. So, seven's not going to go into one, but seven will go into 14 two times, which is 14. Subtract and get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than seven, so we can bring down our five. Okay, seven's not going to go into five. Okay, so, and it says about how long, which means about 20 minutes. Okay, make sure that you're showing your work though, okay? All right. So. All right. Okay. We're going to go down to number five. And it says Frida has 12 red apples, 15 green apples. She's going to share the apples equally among eight people and keep an extra for herself. How many apples will Frida keep for herself? Well, first, we need to find out how many she has. So 15 plus 12. She has 27. Okay. So now... I need to take that 27 and divide it among the eight people to find out how many she's going to give away. Well, it's not going to go into two, but eight will go into 27 three times, which is 24. Subtract and get three. This is how many she's going to keep for herself. Three 
apples. Okay. Right. So Okay. All right. You ready? The Lynch family bought a house for $75,300. A few years later, they sold the house for $80,250. How much greater was the selling price than the purchase price? So we're just going to take the numbers and we're going to find the difference. Okay, all right. So zero minus zero, zero. Five minus zero is five. Two cannot take away three, but I can't borrow from zero. Okay, so now I need to borrow from that 10 and make it a nine, which makes that a 12. So 12 minus three is nine, and nine minus five is four. So $4,950. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. 7.7, .7. come on back to 7.8. See you soon.